almost 80% means a majority want to sell the space. This is the place Jillian Air, owner of Valencia CF, comes to get his clubs. HPL House, which we know as Hard Rock Cafe building. This whole area is going to be redeveloped and Mr. Ong Beng Seng has already sent the proposal. We wait a little longer. And that's the crux of this whole video. We are moving out. No longer. We are Chinese Dog Singapore, a tenant at Far East Shopping Centre. Today I'll be sharing two possible reasons why the Far East Shopping Centre on block sale didn't manage to go through. Six months ago, Far East Shopping Centre was to be bought, torn down, and made anew. This is Far East Shopping Centre. It was built in 1974 at the cost of 20 million in response to the government's bid to renew Orchard Road. This shopping centre was so successful that the developer, Far East Organisation, went on to build Orchard Plaza, Far East Plaza, Lucky Plaza, Orchard Towers, and Claymore Plaza. The owner of Far East Organisation, Ng Teng Fong, was named King of Orchard Road. In 2019, the Singapore government launched the SDI. SDI stands for Strategic Development Incentive. The whole point of the SDI scheme was to incentivize developers to rejuvenate strategic parts of Singapore and one of these parts is Orchard Road. That would be a big deal because it means that this old part of Orchard Road gets rejuvenated and revived and that's what the government wants. The incentive for developers in this last leg of Orchard Road was the extra up to 20% GFA that the government would give them. GFA stands for Gross Floor Area. To the developer, this would mean more space to rent out or to sell and that would be more revenue. So that's a big incentive. There is a requirement in this SDI scheme where two adjacent plots of land or more have to be working together to propose a redevelopment initiative. So when the government sees the proposal and likes it, they will give you 20% GFA as a bonus. This building we're in, it's going to be redeveloped and made anew. It's going to be a cool place to be. Not for us tenants. To us, it means that we no longer have a home in this building. We're going to be driven out. In June 2022, the collective sale process began and it picked up momentum very quickly. Within a month, the agency driving this collective sale process had garnered more than 80% signatures by the owners of the different shops in this building. This 80% means a majority want to sell the space. This constitutes an approval for an on box sale. By the 25th of July 2022, the development was launched for on box sale are a whopping 928 million Singapore dollars. So that was about two years ago. Can you imagine the whispering in the hallways of Far East Shopping Center? All of us tenants thinking and discussing what's gonna happen to us with the eventual demise of this building. This place is going to the bulldozers. So do we move now or do we wait a little longer? And that's the crux of this whole video. Many shops have since moved out. The rest of us remain. There's a sentimental attachment to this building because we've been here a long time. There are people who have been here way longer. There's Shashlik Restaurant. People who know it, know it. And those who don't, Shashlik Russian Restaurant. This restaurant is known for the most number of elderly servers. The average age of the people in this restaurant was, I don't know, above a certain number. It looks kind of old from the outside, but it's actually really quaint. Then, the jewelry shops. The most famous of which is House of Hung. Legend goes that Mr. Hung owns many of the units in Far East Shopping Center. And did you know, a big bunch of people who work here are people in the jewelry business. Next would be the golf shops. These are the golf shops in Far East Shopping Center on the second floor. This is the place billionaire owner of Valencia CF comes to get his clubs. Next are the main agencies. Looking for a helper? Come to Far East Shopping Center. You'll not be disappointed. This particular unit where you can find a helper used to be where we were many years back. Yeah, our clinic started here on the 5th floor and then we moved up to the penthouse on the 16th floor. Let me show you the 16th floor. Here is Dui. She owns a yoga center. It's called Yoga Bar. Tim is a podiatrist. He works with feet. Here is Mayu. This is my ballet studio, MA Ballet. Mayu was one of the tenants together with me, making a decision on whether to move early or to stay. And for some good reasons of her own, she decided a month ago that she was going to rent a bigger space and build. As announced on the 26th of September 2023, Far East Shopping Center was to be bought by GPD, Glory Property Development. And the owner of Glory Property Development is this steel magnate called Du Xuanghua. The government was looking to him to figure out how to come up with a proposal with someone else so that they could renew this part of Orchard Road. 
By September 2023, we were at the end of our line. For the last couple of months, us tenants at Fari Shopping Center felt like in decision limbo. We're looking for alternatives while staying and waiting for the news. Many tenants have moved out, as we said before. Some of us have just continued to renew the lease. We at Chinese Dog Singapore continue working on our patients. Chop wood, carry water. Many months pass. Meanwhile, in the grapevine, we hear that some of these owners are objecting to the sale. The first possible reason would be objections to the sale by existing owners. According to the grapevine, four parties sent out objections. These were legal objections. These objections might end up stalling the entire on block sales process. In fact, the SDB was saying if these objections are not withdrawn within seven days, we're gonna issue a stop order. Three out of the four decided to withdraw and only one person continued sticking to it. We don't know if this made a difference. So the STB gave notice of a possible stop order on the 26th of March 2024. The second possible reason has to do with not being able to secure the 20% GFA bonus. Listen on as I explain. So if we look at the map here, this is Far East Shopping Center. Behind it is an open-air car park. On the side of it is Liat Towers. Liat Towers is pretty redeveloped. Look at the photos here, they look pretty good. And then there's Wheelock. So if these two plots of land, Wheelock and Liat Towers, do not want to collaborate with Far East Shopping Center, it looks like a 20% extra GFA is not possible. The other side is owned by Hong Beng Seng under HPL, Hotel Properties Limited. Now, there is Voco, which is the old Hilton Hotel. Next to the Hilton is Forum Galeria. And then behind is HPL House, which we know as Hard Rock Cafe Building. So this whole area is going to be redeveloped and Mr. Ong Beng Seng has already sent a proposal, which basically means Fai Shopping Center has no friends. And that is a possible reason for why this deal fell through. On the 4th of April 2024, the Collective Sales Committee of the Shopping Center, driven by CBRE, received a notice of rescission, rescinding, yeah? This means that Glory Property Development saying, no, we're no longer buying this place. On the 10th of April 2024, the media shares the good news. So. We are moving out, no longer, for now.